Chapter 1, in which Winnie the Pooh has a very important thing to do. As the sun rose over the hundred-acre wood, Pooh leapt out of bed and... Oh, uh, uh, <coughs> I say, uh, Pooh... <laughs> Do wake up. Oh. oh, mother. I was having the most wonderful dream. Just what to do when there's a rumbly in my tumbly. It's time for something sweet. <sighs> Empty again. Only the sticky parts left. Well, we'll just have to look a little more, Tummy. I'm afraid these honey pots are empty too. Perhaps I should check somewhere else. No oh, bother. All of my honey is gone. Tummy, and where there are bees, there's honey. Oh, but how will I reach it? Think, think, think. Could you find something to help Pooh reach the beehive? Well, that stick does look rather useful, but it's over there, and you see, I'm over here. Perhaps you could make a way for Pooh to get across the stream. Elsewhere in the Hundred Acre Wood, the old grey donkey Eeyore stood alone in his house made of twigs in a thistly corner of the forest. He greeted this particular morning with the same amount of enthusiasm that he greeted most mornings. Good morning, Eeyore. happen to have any honey lying about, would you? You see, I seem to have run out. Oh yes, good idea, Tommy. Perhaps I should look in back. Bother, no honey in here either. I can't help feeling that something is missing. 
Uh, something other than honey, that is. Perhaps Eeyore has lost something, Pooh. He does seem gloomier than usual today. You'd better find out what it is. Interesting. I'm still not sure. Oh dear. What has happened to Eeyore's tail? No, it isn't there. Are you certain, Pooh? Well, a tail is either there or it isn't there. And Eeyore's isn't there. I, Winnie the Pooh, will find Eeyore's tail. <laughs> and then we shall get some honey. Now, whenever there are things to do, one can always count on Owl dropping in. I wonder what Owl is holding. Perhaps you could write down the thing to do on the notepad, Pooh. Oh yes, <laughs> find honey. Not exactly, Pooh. Remember, the first thing to do is find Eeyore's tail. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful plan. So the friends decided to write notices promising a large something to anyone who could find a replacement tail for Eeyore. They would ask Christopher Robin to write out the notices, and then together they would put them up all over the forest. Christopher Robin wrote out the notices for finding Eeyore's tail. Would you help to put them up around the forest for everyone to see? Everyone in the Hundred Acre Woods saw the notices, and they all came together to meet. Christopher Robin explained that their dear friend Eeyore had lost his tail. Do you suppose we could help Eeyore find a new tail? Everyone thought that was a wonderful idea. In fact, they would have a contest and give a prize to the winner. Would you help the friends decide what the prize should be? And finally, everyone agreed with Pooh. The prize would be a large pot of honey. <laughs> think, think, think. What would make a very special tale for Eeyore? There are some clues hidden on this page. Would you help Pooh find them? No hurry, Pooh. Just take your time. Take my time? <laughs> what a wonderful idea. Pooh replaced Eeyore's missing tail with his Pooh Pooh clock, won the contest, and was given the honey pot. Oh. 
Oh, Tommy, I think we both won this prize. Oh! Unfortunately, as Eeyore sat down, the tail Pooh had found for him was crushed. And as Owl pointed out, rules are rules. So Pooh was no longer the winner of the contest. Piglet thought they should give Bloom a try. But that didn't work either. And so they tried a great many things. They tried, and they tried, and they tried, and they tried, until they had run out of things to try. Ah, but then Kanga had a lovely idea. Eeyore could use her knitted scarf for a tail. It fit perfectly. Oh, bother. My tummy is feeling a little past breakfast and on toward lunch. left feeling unsatisfied and a little out of sorts. He walked into the wood alone. I wonder if there's any honey nearby. Would you help Pooh search the wood? No honey here. Not here either. But I wonder what that is. Interesting. I shall follow it to see where it leads. Oh, it's yours tail. Or oh, what's left of it. I'm sorry, Eeyore. Such a nice tale, too. <laughs> Pooh wasn't sure what to do next. Would you help him decide? Honey. Honey? Christopher Robin? Oh, of course. Christopher Robin will have some honey. He loves to share, especially with me. Christopher Robin? Are you not there? Perhaps Christopher Robin hasn't heard you, Pooh. Maybe you should try making some noise. Doesn't seem to be anybody home. I wonder where Christopher Robin went. Just then, Pooh spotted a note. I did? Certainly. It's there at your feet. Maybe you need a little help. Would you help Pooh find the note? No. 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 Well, it 
it's a good thing I noticed it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have seen it. Pooh was puzzled by the note, even more so than usual. And even more than that. Soon everyone arrived, which Pooh was rather glad of, as he just decided to go to Owl's house, hoping that Owl could help unpuzzle him. Pooh saw that Eeyore had a new tail, a chalkboard. Owl had found the tail and received the honey. Oh, that is a very fine-looking pot of honey you've got there, Owl. <laughs> Owl noticed the note in Pooh's hand. When Owl read the note, he found something curious. It said, Gone out, busy Baxon. Owl thought that meant Christopher Robin had been captured by a creature called the Baxon. But what's a Baxon? Think, think, think. Look like Owl explained that a Baxin was a horrible, ferocious creature that breaks your toys, puts holes in your clothes, and steals your honey. Steals honey? Oh dear, we must save Christopher Robin. So Rabbit came up with a plan to trap the Baxon and rescue Christopher Robin. The friends would collect items that Baxons like and leave them in a trail to a deep, deep pit. When the Baxon fell in the pit, Christopher Robin would be safe. While Rabbit and the others were off gathering the Baxon's favorite things, Pooh found a perfect place to dig the pit. Would you help Pooh set the trap? Honey, <laughs> the Baxin is sure to want that most of all. I think I'd better taste it first. Empty. Only the sticky parts left. Well, it certainly fooled me, so it's sure to fool the Baxin. I've made a bit of a mess, haven't I? Yes, Pooh. Perhaps you could clean up the dirt pile before you go. Now that the friends had gathered the Baxon's favorite things, it was time to set them along the trail to lure the Baxon to the trap. Would you help place the items along the trail?
As the friends continued on with Rabbit's plan, they traveled deeper and deeper into the wood. At the same time, Pooh was doing a little thinking of his own. I was. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> and it had something to do with honey, I think. Piglet, could you come here, please? Now, don't worry, Piglet. <laughs> I've thought this plan through. <clears throat> Bother. I don't remember thinking that through. No, it's no use. <sighs> think, think, think. I know. I shall have you down in just a moment, Piglet. Hang on, Piglet. I'll just try again. Almost there. Oops! No plan, Piglet. Run! Soon it was time to place the final items for the Baxen trap. Yes, Tummy. It is about that time of day. Time to stop for lunch. I'm sorry, Pooh, but Rabbit's plan does not include a lunch stop. After all, Christopher Robin must be found. Perhaps you should try thinking of him instead of honey. I'll try. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. Oh, it worked. Much better. <laughs> oh, there's honey here. Yum. And there's honey there. Yum, yum. Well, look, Tommy. There's honey everywhere. <laughs> Pooh was so hungry that he imagined everything he saw had turned to honey. Even his friends. Can you spot Pooh's friends in all the gooey, sticky honey? Kanga. Tigger. Roo. Rabbit. Owl! Ooh, puddles and pots and pitchers, all made of gooey golden honey, and all of it for me! I am thinking what you're thinking. <laughs> After you, Tommy. Soon after Pooh found himself at the bottom of the Baxen trap, Rabbit found himself passing by, and he heard a loud thud. Rabbit carefully approached the trap to see if they'd caught the Baxen. Hello? Is anybody there? Rabbit.
rabbit had an idea as to how to rescue Pooh. He instructed everyone to hold on to Eeyore's anchor tail, and with a heave and a ho, they tossed it into the trap. However, as everyone was hanging on so tightly, they forgot to let go. And so Rabbit, Eeyore, Kanga and Roo ended up at the bottom of the trap with Pooh. However, not all of Pooh's friends fell into the trap. Piglet was not there, which must mean he was still up above. Would you help Pooh get Piglet's attention? made such a racket, it could be heard all over the Hundred Acre Wood. Oh, hello Piglet. Have you come to rescue us? Being a rather small animal, Piglet was frightened of being alone and wished he could join everyone at the bottom of the trap. But he did his best to be brave. For now, it was up to Piglet to save the day. Piglet bravely ventured into the wood to look for some way to help. Soon he found a wagon with something useful inside. Would you show Piglet the something useful? Well, that branch does seem to be long, but not quite long enough. Piglet set out again, but the fog became so thick that he couldn't go any farther. You don't suppose that's the Baxen hiding in the fog, do you? Would you help Piglet find out? Oh, it's not the Baxen at all. It's only Bloom. Even Bloom was gone. With no one left at the top of the trap to help them, everyone sat at the bottom and wondered what to do. Think, think, think. Oh, Honeypot, I don't suppose you know a way to help us, do you? No, I don't suppose that will help. Mm, perhaps not. Mm, perhaps not. Then, Pooh had an idea. I did? Oh, <laughs> yes, I did.
And so they all used the letter ladder to climb out of the pit. Now it seems that Bloon had found Christopher Robin who was out searching for his friends. Together, they made their way to the pit. Oh! Christopher Robin! We thought the Baxen took you from us. Christopher Robin was confused. He didn't know anything about a Baxen. But isn't that what you wrote in your note? See? Here it is. Christopher Robin explained that it had all been a misunderstanding. Now that it was autumn, the school year had begun. His note was simply to say he had gone out and would be back soon. As Christopher Robin was safe and sound, Rabbit wanted to give a reward to the good friend who got them out of the pit and helped them find Christopher Robin. <laughs> oh! And with that, Rabbit presented the honey pot to Bloom. Who watched as Bloom took the honey pot higher and higher until it was out of sight. Oh, mother. As Pooh continued searching for honey, he got hungrier and hungrier and hungrier until he found himself at Owl's house. I hope Owl has some honey I can borrow. Perhaps I should ring the bell instead of knocking. Hmm. That bell rope reminds me of something. No, I don't suppose that will help. No, I don't suppose that will help. And the thing it reminds me of is Eeyore's tail. <laughs> he was rather fond of it, you see. Excuse me, Owl, but I think I shall return this to my dear friend Eeyore first. No oh, bother. Ignoring his tummy's desperate pleas, Pooh took Eeyore's tail directly to Christopher Robin's house. Would you help to hammer Eeyore's tail back on? Perhaps you should test it out, Eeyore. Yes, that looks just right. All the friends gave Pooh the grand prize for finding Eeyore's real tail. Can you find where the grand prize is hidden? so much. <laughs> Pooh, you did a very important thing today. 
I did. Oh, yes, <laughs> I did. But, um, what was it? Think, think, think. I shall be hungry again for a good long while. Oh! <sighs> Bother. <laughs> 